హలో ఎవరిబడి ఐ ఆమ్ డాక్టర్ సచిన్ పెట్కర్ అ వైద్య అండ్ ఆయుర్వేదిక్ ఫిజిషియన్ ఫ్రమ్ ఇండియా పుణే ఐ ఆమ్ ప్రెసెంటింగ్ ఫర్ ద డాక్టర్స్ ఫెడరేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద వర్ల్డ్ జిఎస్సి ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ టూ అండ్ ద టాపిక్ ఈస్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ కోవిడ్ నైన్టీన్ రిజిలియన్స్ థ్రూ థెరపీస్ అండ్ ప్రోటోకాల్స్ so my topic is ayurveda and uh, different ways how ayurveda sees towards the entire pandemic present pandemic situation so let's start what ayurveda says is about swasthya se swasthya rakshana that is safeguarding health first and in case anyone becomes ill then to treat that disease of the patient this is the another purpose of ayurveda ayurveda literally means life wisdom in another way we can say that it is living wisely or wisdom of life so when you say ayurveda it is about living it is about life not just human life but life for of each and every may it be plants may it be microorganisms may it be any animals everything which has life and if you go further whatever is treated as non living like any any object it also has a life like a laptop it has a life so how to use utilize that object the wisdom behind that about that ayurveda has a guidance so it's not just an health science it's about life wisdom according to ayurveda health is a very intrinsic thing ayurveda tells you no rules to follow ayurveda says lead your life not follow lead your life and for that you have to be always aware be watchful and align yourself with yourself pay attention to your inner voice and if you do that nothing else will matter ever no matter who you are where you are what you eat how you sleep what you do is irrelevant so your instincts are your guiding force and so ayurveda doesn't tell you that you should do this or that whatever you are instinctive instinction tells you to do at that that moment just do it because the instinct is very much in your nature and so whatever you eat is not that relevant if you compare it with how you digest it so the entire thing is built on the process in ayurveda we call it its agni if the process is proper the output will be a proper so the focus is on agni for anyone's existence there are four things inevitable and those four things are ruto kshetra ambu and beej the four things are the climate conditions the place to thrive the nutrition to flourish and the individual with vigor to live if these all things all four things are favorable life exists for that individual if one of the thing gets unfavorable its existence gets disturbed so there are six fundamental entities as per in ayurved matter its properties according to that functions the similarities the distinctions and intrinsicality out of these six fundamental entities properties is the most relevant thing so other things don't matter much even matter also might doesn't matter that much as much as properties do one more thing ayurved tells is cases doesn't mean patients patient is a is that phase that state in which an individual experiences a disease the, the loss of easiness cases are the result of some alien tests that not relate to anything so this thing we should keep in our mind the other thing is infection doesn't mean disease infection is just an entry of the microorganism into the host but that doesn't mean that it creates any disease disease is the symptoms which hurt the patient and which are not good for the patient patient's health investigation doesn't mean diagnosis investigation is just means that whatever you are investigating the sample the status of that sample the specimen at that moment of investigation or taking or collecting that sample what is the status that is the finding of the investigation which may be of help to diagnosis diagnosis on the other hand is the causes which lead to generate the disease the entire things that happened in to, in the body the entire pathology and the causes which created that pathology so that disease is formed in the patient is called diagnosis so ayurved treatment is based on three points the first thing the cause of the disease without the cause understanding the cause of disease ayurved treatment cannot start the second thing the symptoms that are due to the causes the symptoms which are or the signs and symptoms which are generated so 
that hurts the patient that is the sign of the disease understanding those and as per that treatments are given treatments are normally undoing the effects due to the causes so causes are again identified into two categories one is essential or the primary which is nothing but the non equilibrium of the internal things and again mainly of the properties we will be going into details about the properties later so these are the essential causes non essential or secondary causes are the external factors the external factors may be present or absent but in whichever way unless they result into primary causes there is no disease they can trigger the essential or primary cause but non essential or secondary causes cannot directly cause a disease form a disease so now we come to the physical properties the 20 properties which are of the utmost importance in ayurveda no matter what matter in which matter these properties are whatever properties are there the functions are according to the properties so these are the 20 properties if there is equilibrium in these 20 properties an individual will be healthy if there is some increase in a, in any certain or one or more properties then disease is formed a patient also speaks in this language only oh my head is heavy feeling i'm feeling heaviness in the my head oh my skin is dry oh i am feeling cold shivering my stools are hard likewise these are the properties and what i read says is you have to just reverse what is what has been increased till the equilibrium is again attained and mind well each and every individual's equilibrium is unique so in ayurved we have made three groups for convenience of those with 20 properties and we have we named them those three groups as doshas so there are three doshas vat pitta and kapha vat is made up of dry light cold rough small and unstable properties pitta is made up of mildly moist sharp hot light dilute properties and kapha is moist cold heavy blunt smooth and stable properties if you go if you see the digestion during the hunger the vat is predominant during the food intake the kapha dosh or the dosh properties under kapha are prominent while in the digestion mode and metabolism mode the pitta dosha is predominant likewise the seasonal impacts or here i have shown the graph which depicts uh, the indian subcontinent or the maybe the northern hemisphere during the months of november and december the kapha is predominant while it is reduced completely during the months of may and june the vata dosh is predominant during june and july while it decreases in december november similarly pitta is also very much reduced in the months of november december while it is at the peak level in the months of september and october in a clock also irrelevant or whether it is a day or night during 10 to 2 maybe in the morning 10 to the afternoon 2 or late or in the night 10 to late night 2 pitta is very much predominant afternoon 2 to 6 pm or 2 am to 6 am vata dosh is predominant while during 6 pm to 10 pm or 6 am to 10 am kapha dosh is predominant so during the day and night also this properties are always changing if you see our body the upper part is predominant of kapha the middle portion is predominant of pitta and the lower part is predominant of vata likewise the early years of our age is predominant of kapha the middle age is predominant of pitta and uh, elderly and old age is predominant of vata ayurved says all diseases are just different forms of non equilibrium of those of those 20 physical properties and just making that those properties into uh, bringing those properties into equilibrium again is actually the treatment with respect to covid whatever the mainstream is telling us ayurved says that the dry cold and heavy these three properties when in when increased and was affected by mucosa which is everywhere in the body the dry property acted on the mucosa and a slimy property of mucosa changed into stickiness 
while the slimy property assists all types of flows in our body and acts also acts as a protective layer between different organs and tissues but the sticky property on the other hand started registering the flow which created obstruction and diseases and different symptoms nothing to do about any microorganisms and nothing to do about any so called viruses treatment was very simple because of the obstruction lot of malignity accumulated got converted into toxins so the 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 treatment was simple to utilize food medicine therapies which will again moisturize the mucosa but, and such that the free flowingness will again start the obstruction will go on and when the free flowing is again resumed all the accumulated mal- malignity and the toxicity is thrown out by the body thank you